campers! Today we're building the classic carnival game, a marble drop. We'll start with a rectangular piece of wood, and we'll add an array of evenly spaced nails and scoring buckets to the bottom. If you don't have any wood scraps lying around, it would be pretty easy to make this out of cardboard and push pins. Just make sure you follow the same rules where your push pins are evenly spaced and have a big enough space for a marble to drop through. Our marble drop game doesn't have a stand included, but it would be pretty easy to add one. Just cut a triangle piece of wood and attach it to the back. Or you can just use it as we built it and lean it against the wall. This is a super fun game that you can play with a friend or alone. Let's get started. Plywood, nails, wood bumpers, hammer, popsicle sticks, cardboard scraps, ruler, pencil, marker, hot glue gun, marbles. First, mark the width of your bumper on the side of your main platform. Ours is an inch wide. We're gonna use a pencil for this marking so that when we paint it, it won't show through. Now mark the tops and the bottom of your board. We wanna leave about an inch and a half on the top and the bottom. Now we're gonna mark our nailing grid. First, we're gonna start with our horizontal marks, which we're gonna space three quarters of an inch high. Just start from the top of your board and work your way down. Next, when we make our vertical lines, we wanna start from the center of the board so that we have evenly spaced nails out to the sides. So first, mark the center, and then work your way out using the same three quarters of an inch measurement. Our first row of nails will go right along the intersections of that first grid line. Try to hammer your nails in as straight as possible and right on that edge. Because our marbles are half an inch wide, this three quarters of an inch space doesn't leave a whole lot of wiggle room. The next row of nails is gonna go in the middle of the squares. This alternating row helps the marble not go straight down. You're gonna do this through the rest of the board, alternating on the grid intersection in the middle of the square, on the grid intersection in the middle of the square. Paint it! We actually spray painted our entire board red, including the nails, because we thought that would look kind of cool. And then we painted our side bumpers blue and then glued them on separately. Now we're gonna make our scoring bucket dividers with our popsicle sticks. First, measure the height of your bucket, mark it, and then cut it with your craft knife. You don't have to cut the popsicle stick all the way through, just score it for the most part three or four times and then you should just be able to snap it right in half. You need eight popsicle stick dividers in total. Cut all of your dividers and then glue them on using hot glue. A cool little feature of this game is a sliding cardboard piece that lets you drop all of your marbles out of the scoring buckets at once. First, measure the height and width of your board. Mark it on your cardboard. And cut your cardboard. What's gonna hold the sliding piece of cardboard in place, you ask? Well, we're gonna make a couple of cardboard straps for either side to glue onto the bumpers. These straps will hold your cardboard piece into place while you're playing the game. Now we're gonna make the front of the scoring boxes. Mark the height of your scoring basket and make a cover for it out of cardboard. Bend your cardboard straps, just to give them a little flexibility. And then we'll glue them onto the side. Make sure you leave a little bit of space on the bottom so that you can slide your cardboard piece in and out with ease. Attach the strap on both sides of your board with hot glue.
We'll divide each of the scoring baskets up into sections and assign point values to each basket. Now glue it on. Test your marble drop. Oh, no points. Five points. Three points. Campers, we hope you had an awesome time building this project with us. Be sure to check out the next project, the Pachinko Machine, which will build on some of the principles we demonstrated with this game. And as always, don't forget to post what you're making to the Maker Camp community. We always want to see what you're making. Catch you next time! <laughs>